Out the box, Magento is capable of running multiple websites from a single installation, including the ability to assign each website with their own domain. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure Apache Virtual Host to connect to your multi-store websites after this short message. Digital Startup can now be found on Twitch under the Science and Technology category. This is where you'll find me streaming behind the scenes content such as informal discussions, research for upcoming videos, video editing, and YouTube preparation. You'll also catch me learning JavaScript most weekends. So if you enjoy informal behind the scenes content, follow me on twitch.tv slash digital startup. Before we begin, this tutorial assumes that you already have Magento 2 up and running with Apache on Ubuntu. You'll also be able to copy and paste any of the commands I use directly from the article linked in the video description below. I'd also like to thank Kaz and Mona for helping me to put this video together during my Twitch live stream last week. Before recording this video, I set up two new subdomains with my domain provider, both pointing to my sandbox server where Magento is installed. Note, even though I have set up subdomains in this example, full domains would work too. Before diving into the Apache configuration, I want to show you the absolute basic settings that need changing in order for this to work. I will not be showing product, customer, store setup, or anything like that. So having logged into my Magento backend, if I navigate to stores, all stores, you can see that I've set up two additional websites, each with their own store and store view. When setting up new stores, Stores and store views, I like to give them smart, easily identifiable names. However, in this example, I have left the main website details alone to indicate to you that I have not touched them. Otherwise, I probably would have relabeled main website store to main store, default store view to English, and I would have changed the codes from main website store to main store and default to main English. If you haven't done this yet, you have to create websites before store and store before store view. Otherwise you won't be able to link them. Now, if we go into stores, configuration, web, you'll also see that I've updated the base URLs for the two new websites. By clicking the scope drop down and clicking on one website, you can see that I've updated the default value of the base URL, the base link URL, the secure base URL, and the secure base link URL to include the one dot subdomain that I set up. And then if we switch the scope to two websites, you'll see that I've done the same thing there as well, adding the two dot into the domain for base, base link, secure base, and secure base link. Finally, I also changed the theme and logo for each of the three stores, purely to indicate that we are in fact loading different websites during the testing phase. I did this under content, design, configuration, and updated the parents records to each website. And just to clarify, the parents record is the line where all three columns have a value. So right now I'm logged into the web server as the super user. So the first thing to do is to navigate to the Apache configuration folder by entering CD space slash ETC slash Apache two slash sites dash enabled. And then we can list the contents of the folder by using ls space dash la. You'll see at the very least two files, one called 000-default.conf and the other being default-ssl.conf. In my example, I have an extra file called 000-default-le-ssl.conf. This is only because I already have a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate installed for the main website. Rather than create new Apache configuration files from scratch, 
we can simply copy the default file to create new ones from it. As I alluded to earlier, I like to name things so that they're obvious to me. So I'll be naming my new configuration files as one.digitalstartuptutorials.co.uk.conf and then two.digitalstartuptutorials.co.uk.conf. I admit those names appear quite long, but they're much easier to identify when you have about 10 configuration files sitting there. Thank me later. So in order to copy the original and paste it with the new names, type sudo space cp, which stands for copy, space 000-default.conf, which is the file we want to copy, and space one.digitalstartuptutorials.co.uk.conf which is the name we want to assign the copied file. And the same again, sudo space cp space 000-default.conf space 2.digitalstartuptutorials.co.uk.conf. Now, if we list the folder contents again with ls space dash la, we'll see the two new files. In each of the files we just created, we need to add four lines to get Apache Virtual Hosts working with Magento Multi-Domain. Open the first configuration file with a nano text editor by typing sudo space nano space one dot digital startup tutorials dot conf. After the line containing document root slash var slash www slash html, copy and paste the following four lines. Out of the four lines, you only need to edit the first three. The server name, which will be your domain URL. The server alias, which again will be your domain URL. And then the set env mage run code, which will be your website code. As you remember from earlier, I called the code for my website one. So therefore I've got one. Once updated, save the changes by pressing Ctrl X to exit, Y to save and enter to confirm. Now let's do that again with our two websites. Open the configuration file by typing sudo space nano space two dot digital startup tutorials dot conf. And then add the four lines again after the document slash root slash www slash HTML line. And again, as you can see, my server name and server alias are my domain URLs. And the set env major run code is the code that I signed this website back when we set it up in Magento, which was two. And once finished, save your changes by hitting Control X to exit, wide save and enter to confirm. Now, it's not just enough to create the configuration files, but we need to enable them too. To do this, run the following sudo space a2 en site space one dot digital startup tutorials dot co uk dot conf and then sudo space a2 en site space two dot digital startup tutorials dot co dot uk dot conf followed by the restart of Apache. So here I'd put sudo space systemctl space restart space Apache 2. You could also use reload as well. So long as you haven't made any syntax errors, which you shouldn't have done if you simply copied and pasted, uh, you won't see any error messages. You can ignore this next step if you aren't running a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. So even if you have a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate set up on your original domain, you should run the Let's Encrypt script again to ensure that the setting you just changed also apply to your Apache SSL configurations. Otherwise, you will run into an issue where none of the things we changed will work when the customer connects over HTTPS. So to regenerate your SSL certificates and Apache SSL configuration files, enter pseudo space search bot space dash dash apache space dash d followed by your domain name or urls that you want to register so again for every time you want to add a domain name you'll put a space dash d in front of it like i have here 
Once you finish putting the line together and you hit enter, the script will run. At the first prompt, hit E to expand. And at the second prompt, enter one to not force redirection. Now again, in this next step, if you're not running an SSL certificate, ignore it. But if you are running an SSL certificate through something like Digital Cert or Global Sign, where you have to set up your own configuration files, this is just a friendly reminder to remind you that once you create your SSL certificates, to make sure that you add those four lines we added earlier to your Apache SSL configuration files. Okay, so now that the Apache stuff is out of the way, we need to switch to the Magento user. So let's put in SU space Magento, followed by the Magento user's password, and then switch to the Magento directory with CD space slash var slash www slash HTML. And now let's start by redeploying static content. And we do that by entering bin slash Magento space setup colon static dash content colon deploy space en underscore us space en underscore gb space dash f now before you go ahead and copy and paste that my store contains both the us and gb locales so change yours accordingly to your own setup now let that run for a couple of minutes i'm going to skip forward because it will take a moment and then once it's done we want to clear the cache with bin slash magento space cache colon clean hit enter and wait for that to run and then as soon as that's finished running it's time to test our three domain names so first things first let's test out the main domain name just make sure it's working so in that case that's going to be digital startup tutorials.co.uk for me and we'll let that load it will take a moment because we just cleared the cache and redeployed static content so everything's going to be slow on the first load and there we go. So as you can see, this is the main website confirmed by the logo that I changed earlier. And then we can try our next domain name, which is one dot digital startup tutorials .co.uk. And let's wait for that to load. And there we go. We can see that one's loading correctly, confirmed by the logo that I changed earlier. And finally, we will load up two dot digital startup tutorials .co.uk and see if that loads correctly. And there we go. We can see that that's loaded correctly as well. That's pretty much how you do it. Like I said, I'm not going to be going over any of the configuration for multi-store setups. Uh, that might be content I uh, run into in the future, but that's not what this is a video is all about. So again, remember you can copy and paste everything it from the article and the link to that is in the video description below. You'll also find me on Twitch as well, for the behind the scenes contents. Until next time, take care.